Hello, welcome to my video about Chopin's music. Today we will have uh, Grand Walls Briand, Opus 34, number one in A flat major. And a fantastic, a very effective, uh, very virtuosic piece of music. Very happy, full of jokes, and the favorite of audiences. Where the piece which every time when a pianist performs it, it always brings uh, a lot of applause and a great happiness for people. Again, like in Opus 18, we have Chopin who wants to show off, who wants to uh, impress a French aristocratic salons, uh, who wants to impress the, the aristocratic people by his playing and by his imagination and his sense of humor, musical humor. All the piece starts very similar to how we had uh, what we had in Opus 18. In Opus 18 we had a kind of trumpet. Like I said, if you watched my video, you know, I said this was like a hello, alert, everybody, silent, now I'm playing. Listen to me! So when we have a salon, people are talking, when they hear this, suddenly they are completely silent and they are listening to the artist. The same is here, but a little bit uh, different, more advanced, I would say. That the first motif, hello, listen to me. Now I'm important. And this is uh, very fantastically written because we have it like this. Look, I show you. Now we have Chopin comes to the piano, starts to play it so that everybody listen to him. Once again. Now there is a silence. So he is listening. Are they all listening to me now? No, they are not. So I do it again. Oh, they are almost, but still somebody is talking. So I continue now and I show them my technique. And then we can start the waltz. So it's like an introduction. Introduction to make people listen. And now I play for you the whole introduction without talking, just for us to focus on this first, well, first musical joke of this piece. And now we start walls number one. Uh, listen. <laughs> Walls number one. It consists of two different phrases, very different one from each other. Um, uh, the the melody that we hear is rather simple. It's a very simple melody that has a kind this kind of energy that something we 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 put something up and then it slowly goes down. Look up and then it slowly goes down and again. And slowly goes down, and it it uh, it is repeated, and then the second phrase is also up and down, but not so slowly, much faster. We can and now. Uh, 
And this is like also a joke, like somebody who's trying to get up but cannot. Look, first time, it's like somebody is trying but hit the wall and had to go down. Again. 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 And the fourth time, finally. So very persistent motif. Who, who said to himself, I will reach this peak no matter how many times I have to try. This is a very symbolic, isn't it? We have to be very consistent and try as many times as we need to reach our goals, let's say. So this is the this motif. The, the, the main melody is played in two voices. so special in this melody are chords because at the beginning we have very normal chords which we actually our subconscious even if we are not musicians we can predict them this this and this but for the second time there is one surprise here here we have minor chord and we shouldn't have minor chord here there it should be like this if you carefully listened you heard the difference and originally it's written much more beautiful color something a little it's a little surprise a minor here well i always when i play it i try to emphasize this minor to show the listener that something here is not exactly like he thought it would be so let's listen again here we can we can show off the technique we can play it a little faster uh, but not too much and in the left hand we have also, also a very funny waltz because we don't have a normal waltz we don't have like this no we have one note which is um, a kind of wrong note If I play together, hands together, and I emphasize left hand, just listen how rich it is. It's very nice. And I think it's very funny to show this trying to reach the, the point, but cannot. Uh, oh! I couldn't. Again. I couldn't. Again. I couldn't. And finally. And now we have waltz number two. Waltz number two consists only of one phrase. It consists on one phrase, but repeated two times. Second time will be a, ver a little variated. The idea of this is also very funny because we have the motif. The motif is taken from the beginning of the piece. We had and here we have similar, isn't it? It's just upside down. And at the beginning we had so it's very funny. We are smiling, laughing. And this motif is also trying to, to climb up somewhere, but also uh, will not succeed for two, two times. First time. Second time. Well, it cannot, cannot, cannot. So what is going on next? The third time. We have octave, so we'll have two voices, two notes. So there is somebody else who comes, takes the hand of this first motif and say, 
Hey, together we can. Let's try together. It's always better to be together. And they together succeed. And then when they reach the top, they celebrate being on the top. They celebrate the success. Listen. <laughs> funny so listen th that's also deep because what what's what we are doing alone we cannot do we need another person it's always better to be together than to be alone so oh no Second time it's repeated and Chopin is adding some scales very fast, almost like a glissando. But it's not a glissando because we also have uh, black keys, so it's impossible to do glissando in white and black keys. Instead, we have very fast scale, which is to be effective. It's just a very virtuosic moment when everybody is just shocked by oh, what a capable, clever pianist is playing. Listen. <laughs> Then and the third time and then we have waltz number three when everything is changing we will have just um, this is a kind of scene we don't have the typical dancing waltz but we see some persons maybe it's a couple um, maybe they are two beautiful women but and they are they are hesitating they don't know what decision to take to make listen up down up where are we going left or right right or left right or left we don't know then suddenly left but then no maybe maybe right and then the answer. Also with the sixth. All the time two voices. I see here a portrait of some very beautiful aristocratic young girl. Or two girls. some kind of waiting we are waiting all the time waiting for something musically waiting listen to here here we are waiting for this note so then here we are waiting for this note then we are waiting for this note and then again waiting for this note it's so elegant it's so French it's so beautiful light and aristocratic the second phrase of waltz number three brings a little drama. And I would like you to, I play for you the whole phrase, uh, second phrase of waltz number three, and I would like you to see, to feel that there is no release. We only have tension. So Chopin is trying to make us feel a little in quiet inside. We don't, we feel something is going on between this couple and there is no release. We have the tension. But this is not the release, it's still tension. And again. And finally, 
back to the beginning, the, the first phrase of waltz number three. So waltz number three has ABA construction. It seems it's the most important waltz in the, all, the whole piece because it's in the center, in the middle. Well, after this waltz number, number three, we should have waltz number four or waltz number one but we we will not instead we will have waltz number two so the idea is as we are go we went through the palace some aristocratic palace we went to the end where we saw this couple and we decided oh we don't want to be here anymore because they have some problems so we go back and when we go back we pass by waltz number two so the the room when there was a waltz number two, and we go back to the beginning of the piece in waltz number one. Uh, and this is something that always made me a little trouble when I was listening to this waltz without knowing it as a pianist, uh, because I never knew why we have so many times this different uh, waltzes. Waltz number two is coming here. So listen, there is a waltz number two. <laughs> repeated with the scales and after that we will have the beginning of the piece waltz number one and after that we will have again waltz number two so waltz number two with the scales is uh, appearing three times in this piece and only later i realized that that's the idea that we are going to the end of the palace then going back and then again we want to go to the end but we stop after waltz number two and instead of getting again to waltz number three, we will have the coda, so the ending. And the coda is very funny in the end. But I'll play for you the whole coda now. The coda starts in a very fast way. So we are showing off the technique. this motif it's the from waltz number two so the most important waltz which happened three times it's exactly the same This motif number one, number three, two, number three, but cannot go up, and then finally, and everything disappears. And we think, Oh, is it the end of the piece? Oh, such a fantastic waltz with such a weak ending, we think, and then suddenly, all of a sudden, we don't expect we have two very bah, bah, unexpected chords. And that's why we feel like, wow, at the end of the piece. Fantastically written. There is one more very interesting and funny hidden uh, note in the left hand, which is like a, an angry note or an evil note. The note there's like somebody who wants to always make something bad. So listen. <laughs> two times and it makes the ending even more funny so that's it um, it's quite I think uh, simple in construction uh, maybe just to have some more fun I will play for you this was now from the beginning to the end <laughs>
Thank you very much and see you again. Bye bye.